Lies, lovers, and a deadly secret. 1898, the port of Newcastle. A pregnant woman is kicked off a merchant ship. The father, the captain of the ship, and her rapist. 37-year-old Harry Crawford is a man with some secrets. He's in love with Annie Burkett, a widower with a young son who runs a sweet shop in Sydney's Balmain. Harry calls at the shop every day. His persistence pays off. However, Harry fears that the marriage will expose a bigger secret. Not 12 months later, cracks were emerging. Though, however rocky their relationship, Annie always came back. But Harry was full of surprises, including a teenage daughter, Josephine, who appears on their doorstep. Harry seems more and more paranoid. Josephine knows something about his past. And it's just a matter of time until it's revealed. I've found out something queer about Harry. And on September 28, 1917, Harry and Annie head to Lane Cove, a leafy Sydney suburb, for a picnic. But that night, only Harry returns. Three days later, a body is found in the same picnic spot. It's so badly burnt, it can't be identified. When people ask Harry about his wife, he tells them she ran away with the plumber. A few years passed, and now older, Harry's stepson begins to ask questions about his mother's disappearance. He goes to police to tell them about the Lane Cove picnic. Police were now looking to question Harry, but he wasn't easy to track down. The Great Strike of 1917 and the end of World War I had thrown the Australian workforce into disarray. Police eventually find Harry working at an Annandale hotel. He's married again, Lizzie, his new bride. And on searching his new home, they discover Harry's big secret, a wooden phallus that he's been using to trick his female lovers for years. Harry is a woman. Harry was born as Eugenia Fellini near Livorno, Italy, but lived life as a man. The last time his secret came out was on a merchant ship. The victim of rape, she fell pregnant and gave birth to a daughter, Josephine. But Eugenia's desire to live as a man was much stronger than her maternal instinct. Searching for answers about her parents, Josephine eventually discovered the true identity of her mother. And so when she arrived to stay with Harry and Annie, it was only on the strict condition that she would never reveal Harry's secret. But was it one that he would have killed his own wife to protect? Having enough suspicion of Annie's fate, police exhumed the charred corpse that was found only days after she went missing. The corpse is confirmed as that of Annie Burkett. Harry is arrested for murder and charged as a woman. The trial was a media sensation. A woman dressed as a man, a wooden phallus, two wives, and over 30 witnesses. The evidence suggests Eugenia's violent tendencies had gone too far. And Josephine played a key role in establishing a motive to keep his secret hidden. Despite her pleas of innocence, she is found guilty of Annie's murder and sentenced to death. Later commuted to life in prison. In 1931, her health shattered, her spirit broken. Eugenia is released on compassionate grounds, but on condition she lived life as a woman, not a man. Seven years later, a 63-year-old woman is hit by a taxi and dies in the street. Her name is Jean Ford. However, a fingerprint check reveals her true identity as Eugenia Fellini.